feel like I'm really much more aware of my surroundings when I'm on the water and I forget everything else that's going on at home or in life. I leave it all behind when I'm out on the water. People always are asking, aren't you afraid of the great white sharks? And I think if they really knew, the scariest part of kayak fishing for me is the drive there and back. It was my 18th birthday. I went out with friends in the city and I ended up driving home and I was involved in a high speed car accident. It was the scariest moment of my life. Basically after that, life as I knew it would never be the same. I wasn't who I was before. I wanted to make the most out of life from that moment on because I realized how short it is and how fast it can end. The hardest part of it for me was I built this strong tolerance to adrenaline. So I like couldn't have an adrenaline rush after that, no matter what I did. Long story short, I met my boyfriend maybe three or four months after the crash and he took me fishing for the first time. I remember it so clearly, reeling in my very first rainbow trout, and it jumped, and it was so acrobatic, and that was the very first adrenaline rush I felt after my car accident, and that's kind of where I was like, this is it, this is what I want to do. the way the ocean challenges me and it keeps you on your toes. I mean, there's a lot that can go wrong when you're out on the water. Mother Nature, it's, you're at her mercy. Things can change before you know it. You go in, you have to be ready to self-rescue and hop back in your kayak, but those are the things that you're worried about and all the other worries at home don't matter. I love to cook, I love to eat, and I love to experiment. I feel like I'm always experimenting when I'm fishing and out on the water, and I bring that into the kitchen as well. Hi, you ready for a feast? <laughs> There's something about that connection to nature that's just so special, and to be able to eat what you catch, there's nothing like it. <laughs> Live beyond land to me means taking adventures to find where you truly belong. I've found my happy place and luckily for me it covers about 70% of our planet. <laughs>